Hello friends, I am Uday Sagar Kanpal and today we will start with some data structures on NetBeans IDE. So for the first part I would create a linked list on NetBeans IDE using Java. To those who are my new viewers kindly like my video, subscribe to my channel and comment and share. So let's begin. So today we will start with a data structure called as linked list. How to create a linked list in Java. So this is a linked list class. We will create a linked list with a value called data or and a linked list reference called as next now there are various functions in the linked list we can traverse a linked list we can insert into a linked list we can delete a node in a linked list so let's begin here itself we are creating a traverse and print function for a linked list which will traverse this linked list until it finds another element while until it isn't finding any element so while uh, what would be a condition a condition would be while we need not make this static since we are using linked list class as the data type now So traverse and print function is complete right now. So what we are doing is we are checking if the next node is not equal to null. If it is we are printing this arrow to so print the next node and we are just uh, doing recursion uh, to the next dot traverse and print function which would again print and check if the next node is null or not now we want to increase add a data to the linked list
will create an add node function instead of add data function as it is looking better now we will we will have a variable called is first node since it is not a pointer object into a boolean flag to with a boolean flag So the add node function looks complete as of now. So if it is the first node, it would add the data and set the first node to the first node. Else it would create a linked list next node and add the data to that. And there is a condition. We are assigning this pointer here. Temp dot next. Now the temp pointer would be allocated to the. The temp pointer will allocate the next node. So now let's. So with the main function, let's create a linked list. running on wait it is showing a continuous loop which means we have erred over somewhere so let's see where we have erred let's move on to the traverse and print function now since we are doing recursion we need not go into the loop so we will do an if condition over here and now we will print yes our link list is printed correctly so we added link list with the value 1 it is printing 1 then we added a link list value 2 and it is printing 1 and 2 so a link list is being printed correctly Let, let's add some further nodes to the link list Five, six, 
so yes the linked list is printing the values correctly now the next task for us is to delete a value from a linked list we can delete the values by two methods one we will have the start node and we will print uh, we will delete the nth node and second we will delete the value particular value from the linked list so when we are uh, going to delete a particular value there might be duplicates into the linked list since the linked list does not uh, put restrictions on whether a value would be duplicate or not so we will prefer going by deleting a nth node of a linked list so let's move on with the function public void delete Now this function will delete the nth node from the linked list. So if n equal to equal to 0, we will have to delete the entire list. So data equals to 0 and Next, null. Here, not data dot next, but only next, since data is the value of the number, name of the number. So let's. So link list temp is equal to this and temp equal to temp. Now there would be one condition if the n is above the length of the link list that means it's larger the length of the link list then we will have to place the condition create a pointer for or a reference for the next node of the deleted node so that he can append the value to so next next node is equals to this if Then dot next dot next is equals to equals to null or we can say if the temp dot next dot next is not equals to null we can add the value of next next node and in the else case we can simply set node to null now link list temp is equal to this link list next next node equal to this while i is equal to n not equal to n minus 1 and and i and temp dot next not equal to null temp equal to temp dot next i plus plus so what will it do it will traverse to the n minus
temp dot next not equal to null we can delete the element temp dot next equal to next next node so we can try with this dot delete and node and say the second node oh now we are going to run so look since the indexing is starting from zero we first uh, we first deleted the first node first node was 2 the linked list first node was deleted hence it the new linked list has become now 1 3 4 5 6 instead of 1 2 3 4 5 6 if what will happen if we in delete the 0th node it should delete the entire linked list why because the first node was the root node and it deleted linked list so it deleted the entire node and we are referring we are calling uh, from the first node so since the first node is empty it is printing zero and now we again move on to the first node the first node is deleted now now the this time three becomes the first node so if this time we delete again the first node three will also get deleted so one four five six and so on All the first element are being deleted and in the end it is throwing an error so why it is throwing an error because it does not have a next element so where it is throwing an error we need to press place a check there Now since there is no first node, only the 0th node, the first element would not get deleted until we delete the 0th element in the end. And now the linked list is deleted. So that's, all, that's it for today. I would just demonstrate the entire linked list class. Though there are linked lists in built libraries available, we will go with this class for practice purpose to create our own link list so we have traversed the link list we have added a node to the link list and we have deleted the nth node from the link list so the traverse and print function is something like this which is a recursion function which will traverse till the end of the link list then there is an add node function if uh, it is a first node it deletes the node else it deletes the nth node by placing itself first to the n-1th node and deleting the nth node and this is the function the add node then this is the delete nth node function you can have a look Thanks for watching my video hope you liked it we will definitely make a next part of it with uh, some new data structure till then bye bye